I do it in one second, he gets mad at me. See, he's got the camera on, but you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Need a hand again or what? Nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> you want to thumbs up my intro for me? <laughs> there we go. I'm waiting. <laughs> In a secret location, the, the original secret torque custom cycles location. So this is Mike's brand new 2022 Lowrider ST. This thing's amazing. Uh, we got the Rockford Fosgate auto system here, which we're gonna be installing. Well, he's gonna be installing today. I'm just here filming. Yep. Um, but he's uh, installed quite a few of these at the uh, at the other shop um, in the past few weeks. And now, since he picked up his bike last week, obviously he's gonna put it on his. Um, so it's going to be a tutorial how to do, and um, it will give you guys an audio how it sounds afterwards. This thing is pretty, pretty, pretty badass. Anything people should know before uh, diving into this whole little spectrum of well, whatever? The, the only thing you got to know is you got to be able to uh, insert the pins into the connector. So if you don't know how to disassemble the connectors and inject the pins in, then it's not going to be able to I mean, I'm pretty good it. at inserting things. <laughs> this one, this one. Uh, it's really, that's really the, the installing the speakers and everything. That takes no time at all. What's uh, what's like the most uh, time-consuming thing? Just taking the bike apart, basically. Um, you're gonna see the, the one connector under the seat is really hard to get to. Once you separate it, it hardly gives you about one inch to work with. Try to get that pin in. So when we get to that part, you'll see. And the fairing is pretty much. Fairing simple. We're gonna run right through this really quick. You got um, outside and inside. Yeah, so you got pretty much six screws on the windshield and then one, two, three on each side. So six screws on the side and the whole fairing comes right off in one piece. So pretty simple. I actually love the way the stock shield looks. I do too. Pops off and this pops on. That's it. That's it. And we got to do the pin outs, but for the wiring, that's pretty much it's line up. Heard people talking about how difficult to put this thing on and everything. I was like, watch yourself. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> This is getting screwed into where though? There's two holes in the uh, brace. It, it was just empty there or? They're threaded holes. Okay. So it's there already. Just gives you the two screws. Now here's where we're gonna start to do the injection first pin. That wrist action. Jesus, how many tools do you have, dude? A lot. I mean, so, this is like a, a showroom for uh, for snap on. Yeah. Yeah. Where Every tool you need yeah, is here. Oh. This is what happens when you Because in my shop box, they're over there. In here, they're over here. I have like 10 tools in my garage. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so that comes off. Separate this connector. All my tools look pretty well now. Somebody put them together for me. I made him come put all my tools in my toolbox the correct way. Oh, yeah? supposed to be, yeah. Well, he took my whole set of Torque Custom Cycle starter set and yeah. brought it down. down the <laughs> this tells you in cavity 11, we've got to stick this wire into cavity 11, which is a blank. So what we're going to do is... We just gotta match them up. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, grab this and pull it out. Okay. There's the blank. Oh. 
this Ooh, must be the uh, click. Yeah, this must be the annoying part. Well, yeah. Now you got to do this under the seat where they give you one inch of cable. Gotcha. So this side's done. Just gotta get this back down to where it belongs. Let's see. Now the pin is locked. So. That's the actual power. So what, what number was that again? Pin up here, it's number 11. Number 11. So now all we gotta do now is put this back together. This will now run through your headlight. Power the amplifier. And then the hole up here on the frame. Yeah. This goes up here. Oh, it slides right in there? Nice. So now this becomes your new headlight plug. Gotcha. I mean, Harley makes this kind of pretty simple. easy though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give you zip ties in the package. Did we just say that? Did yeah. we just say that Harley makes something well, easy? <laughs> until we get back there. <laughs> well, you want to let everybody know about your purchase or your latest purchase? My latest purchase? I finally, just, finally, finally, Willie has become <laughs> an owner of a Harley <laughs> Davidson. Yeah. Finally bought a Harley. What you got? I bought a 2022 Road Glide. Shark Gang. Yep. You want to let everybody know how much you didn't want to get a Road Glide about a month ago? How much you hated it? <laughs> all the shit talking. Yeah, yeah, all the shit talking you did about my bike. Yes, I talked a lot of shit. And I was not doing it. Tell them what you got rid of. Yes. I'll never buy a Harley. I'll never buy a Harley, and I gave away my my uh, prized possession. What was it? Uh, was 2020 it? Triumph Rocket uh, 3R. All custom done. All custom, custom built. All custom right. built by 20 Bang. Custom Cycles. You traded one bike or two bikes? Two. What else? And then I got rid of my Steve McQueen 2022 uh, Triumph Scrambler XE. Can't wait to see the comments. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. I'll get there. That one right there, 25. 25, Cash. Mike. What's that? Cash, 25. 35. <laughs> 35. You could drive it home tonight. Right, so, before you put the fairing on, if you notice the old setup here, the windshield screws go here, here. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. The other two get are, pulled, inside. are inside here. Here's the, here's the screw, here's uh, the nut. If you notice on the new system, all six are threaded. So these clips have to be removed from the fairing so that the screw threads into the speaker for the gotcha. windshield. So you just gotta remove the other clips, that's it? Yep. All right, crucial stop. Removing of the clips. Where's this uh, famous plug at? It's like where the battery's at? It is this one. We've got to actually separate this, get into the front side of that plug to pull that pin out. Yeesh. Yeah. Okay. But we do have to pull the battery because then on top of that, the positive terminal goes down to the battery screw. So we got to install that too. When we take this car off here? Um, no, I don't need to I need the Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah. What's uh, this switch here is what? This is the connector. This is your main backbone connector. So this connector runs up the backbone into where we put the pin for injection. So now we're gonna take this wire, put it into the back of this connector so we can feed power up. This is connected to your battery. And you took one out of here already? I took a blank plastic out of there. Another one of these. Yeah. And now I'm gonna go into pin nine. Nine. And then this will go to the battery. This is your main power for your amplifier. Gotcha. You make it sound so easy, Mike. It's not, because this one took a lot longer. 
Got to hear it click with the other one. Yeah. So, so now these these pins can go in the wrong way. There it goes. It's locked. Okay. So the pin can it, it'll only go into the cavity one way. So if you have it the wrong way, it won't go all the way in. So now we'll just put this back together. Hook up this to the battery. Also, they do ship the system with no fuse. The fuse comes in the pack. So once you hook this up to the battery, then install the fuse after. Now you just the other trick now is to get this back down. Can you help? Thank you. Oh, you touch my ta la la. Mmm, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a hand. A hand or a handy? <laughs> As you all know, working at Torque Custom Cycles in Hackensack, we all know that our other mechanic, Mike, is obsessed with penises. <laughs> you know I'm going to leave that shit in, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put in a, a, a gif right there of just mad hot dogs flying out of nowhere. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh man. This is this is just this connector is just ridiculous. Why don't you right? just take this shit off right here, dude? Because it goes underneath the shock. Ah, it's one piece of gotcha. metal. So what's this? This, this is, is the uh, fuse for the amplifier. So that comes separate, right? It comes, it's it comes in, with yeah, it comes with it in the package, but Put that in last after you hook it up to the battery. And then I usually take the fuse holder and just tuck it down there. That's it. Cover on and should be it. Does the Romanian sensation still smell pretty? What? Does he still smell pretty? He does. He's just there modeling on your fucking bike, That's man. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to like help him sell it. Just added value. So here, here's the part where Willie struggles with something for a half an hour, and then he says, "Fuck it, you do it." And then you I, tell. I do it in one second. He gets mad at me. So he's got the fucking camera, but you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> not that shit. Not that shit. Not happening. <laughs> Willie, I got it. <laughs> did he get it? Did he get it? Yep. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a hook. No more good on the pressure. <laughs> Just gotta hook that back one. Need a hand again or what? Nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you touch my ta la la. Mm. <laughs> so, how do you connect uh, the Bluetooth to your phone with this? So there's a uh, there's a Harley app, and um, there we go. I'm waiting. <laughs> it's gonna be a great video. <laughs> Why is it that everywhere you go, you take security with you, even at your own home? This is security. Exactly. See the size of the text? Look, he just wants to flex right away, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so pretty easy, easy install if you have someone like this next to you doing your work. Um, we have a huge surprise coming, talking about this bike, that'll be its own little separate video. Um, but if you are in the market and you are looking to install the Rockford Fosgate speakers, pretty easy install. Hopefully this install video can help you out. And uh, they sound great in person. It looks good. I think Hardy did a really good job when it comes to fitment and sound and everything. And um, I mean, you're the customer. Yeah, there. yeah, no. About it? I, I think it's a nice fit and finish, and um, they, they do sound good. Rock on, baby. Catch you guys the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.